Hey guys, this morning, when I came into my office, even though it's under construction, the security was still needed uh, to get into the building. And they gave us this card that allows us to come in. And I thought, what allows people to be used of God? What allows them to come into the kingdom? And I got back to verse chapter eight of the book of Luke. And I'm just reading back from verse one to three. It says, soon afterward, Jesus began to tour the nearby towns and villages, preaching and announcing the good news about the kingdom of God. He took his 12 disciples with him, along with some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Among them were Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons, Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's business manager, Susanna, and many others who were contributing from their own resources to support Jesus and his disciples. And when I read that, Normally it tells them, how do they get in? There must be an encounter with Jesus. I find so many people are looking for an encounter with church or an encounter with a Christian. But what the church ought to be doing is encouraging people to have an encounter with Jesus. Each one of them had an encounter. And if they were, they, the encounter leave, left them marked for life. Mary Magdalene, the demons left, they didn't come back. Uh, Susanna, uh, all of them and the others, they had a person. Even the 12 disciples had personal encounters with Jesus. I hope this morning, after all is said and done, you, yes you, you had a personal encounter with God. And if you have not, come on, it's time you do. Some of you have been running, some of you have been running, some of you have been trying everything to get away from God. But you know in your heart, God has been tracking you down. You know God has been injecting in varying situations His will, protecting you from bad investments with your life and helping you walk through some difficult places. You know He's had an encounter with you. But a lot of times we have not had an encounter with him. It means that we have not purposefully and intentionally sought after God and decided from that relationship to encounter the true and the living God. If you have not, and you're saying, Pastor, you know what? We've been doing this devotion for some time. You've not led me to that encounter. Come on, just pray this prayer. It's as simple as this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess I am a sinner in need of you, a savior. I accept Jesus Christ into my life completely. I resist, in fact, I give up everything that will not contribute to your glow, being glorified and will not contribute to your kingdom expand, expanding. I thank you for accepting me and I thank you for cleansing me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on. It's as simple as that. But the hill starts its steep ascent because now you're under construction. God bless.